Hey YouTube, JT is Reborn here, and welcome back to another edition of After the Movie. I'm currently in my theater parking lot right now. I just got up seeing a screening of the new anime film, Goodbye, Don Gleese, and uh, I'm here to give my thoughts on it. So this movie got a release earlier this year in Japan. I kind of just saw a little advertisements for it as I went to see a couple other animes movies this year. What was it? Inoa was one. Uh, there was another one, The Deer King. I saw another ad for this thing. So when this thing was coming out, I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll go check this thing out. I didn't really like try to read too much into what the plot was i kind of am going into this thing kind of blind uh I, and i'll honestly i did forget a lot of what the trailers were uh focused on in this movie i just kind of saw like a little brief announcement since you know this is done via fathom events and such and so going into this thing not really knowing much about it uh, i sat back i was literally the only person in the theater at this screen it's like a first that's happened to me in a while like it's sunday and it's like a four o'clock screening and nobody else apparently went to go see this movie but me but, and I think that's a real shame because I think this movie is actually really well done. Uh, I think it's going to be in theaters for just a little bit longer, but I think more people should go and check this thing out and go into it not knowing as much as possible. I think that's the best way to go and approach a lot of these Japanese animation films. Uh, if I had to compare it to anything else, I'd basically say that this is the Japanese anime equivalent to the film Stand By Me. Uh, you know, the classic Stephen King story about a bunch of kids who go in and trying to find a dead body and then they kind of learn stuff about each other and you get to delve into each character and you get all these different stories, you get the comedic moments, you got the hearts, you got the emotional beats to it all. So that's kind of what I compare this thing to. And I came, uh, as the movie kind of concluded, I went and looked it up and the director, I forget her name, she mentioned uh, making this movie after seeing Stand By Me or something along, it's heavily Stand By Me influenced. So you can see that all across the screen here. Although there are some key differences for sure. This is a more modern movie and it's got more of a dreamlike quality since it is a Japanese animation film. But I like seeing a, kind of like uh, a story like Stand By Me influencing something in Japan. I think that's pretty interesting. So the movie is about three kids. It's a coming of age drama. And each kid has their own distinct personality. They're 15 and one of them is 16. It's going into high school. Uh, they're, they're kind of trying to, they're kind of in a bit of a crossroads in some way in terms of their livelihoods. Uh, one of them has only a limited time left. Uh, you come to find that he has like some terminal illness right there and the other two kids one of them's like an overachiever the other one's just kind of like the the small town kid they're kind of living out in the mountains and stuff they don't really get to do all the crazy stuff and one of them has like this crush on this girl and he's just too insecure and just you know really down on himself uh and doesn't really have the guts to kind of say something so you got that going on here so basically you got these three friends here uh they try and you know do things they goof around and stuff they had their little club called the dunglees and at one point they get blamed by some people for starting a big huge thing of wildfires because uh, they tried to light some fireworks but their fireworks were duds and like some big forest fire happened and they were also trying to record it on a drone and that drone got swept up in a storm and so to prove their innocence they go trekking out into the woods and they try to find this drone that they believe will prove their innocence from these events and then that's where they go and they discover things about themselves and there's a lot of heart there's there's emotions there's funny beats in it and you come to find some interesting revelations that happen throughout the film especially towards the ending how it all kind of ties together and like I said there's a bit of a dream like quality but there's still kind of this grounded sense to it all uh, I thought it was quite good each character like I said has their own distinct personality uh, it has the heart it has the emotions it has the comedy on display uh, the only plot point I feel like didn't really get fleshed out as much as I think it could. Uh, the main character of this movie is a kid named Roma. There's Roma, there's Toto, who's like the overachiever, overachiever bookworm, really kind of like his whole path is kind of laid out for him, you know, puts a lot of pressure on himself. And Drop, who is kind of the third member of their group, who's like, uh, kind of joined later on when, uh, Toto kind of went off to school and he's back for summer vacation. And, uh, Roma has this crush on this one girl and I feel like the story with them isn't really fully, like even by the ending of the movie, it's not like we've really gone into it as, God, somebody is really loud out there and it's really distracting me. Um, that's what happened to record uh, in your uh, automobile in a parking lot. But anyway, so like Roma has this crush on this one girl and it's kind of the catapult for the story in a way based on how the movie starts and kind of how it ends. And I feel like there was no real kind of final conclusion to that. It's like 
like I feel like there should have been. If I if I had one critique, I feel like that could have been there could have been maybe more of a confrontation towards the end of the movie with those two characters. Uh, but the ending is a it, it has a heartwarming message, and it's something that I feel like a lot of people will get pretty emotional at towards the end of the film and what it all kind of means and how it all ties together. So I thought the movie was quite good. I just think that story could have been, you know, fleshed out a little bit more. Maybe it could have gotten a little more with it because even when the movie kind of ends uh it has a good ending but that's just kind of one plot point i feel like maybe there should have been an extra scene kind of at the end of the movie uh with those two characters i think would have made it a little bit stronger at least in my humble opinion because that's something that we it, it just wasn't as fleshed out as i think it probably could have but all things considered i thought this is a really well done anime film in terms of anime films this year that i've seen i like this one more than the last couple uh, what have I seen this year? I saw Bell. I think I saw Sing a Bit of Harmony. Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Of course, I'm wearing a Dragon Ball based uh, shirt in this video because I'm seeing anime. Got to have some sort of anime focused shirt in there, right? Um, Superhero is the one. Obviously, I'm a big Dragon Ball fan, so I have a lot to say about this one or about that. But like this one, I thought was are maybe probably the best in terms of quality animation was quite good the way they capture things like i said the dream likes it's basically stand by me but with more of an anime touch and like a nice dreamlike quality to it all and i think that really kind of allows for some unique visuals uh on display here and it kind of has a bit of an a, like a dreamlike state at some points uh, there's a couple of dream sequences throughout the movie but i think most people go into this thing probably enjoying it if you're a fan of movies like stand by me i think this is right up your alley and i thought the movie was pretty well done i don't want to give away everything that happens at the ending because i think it's better if you go in to see this thing um but there is something that happens at the ending that kind of ties it all together which i thought was pretty clever um and so yeah uh, i think that's all i really need to say about it so i'll just leave it kind of at that but if you get the chance to i recommend checking out goodbye don Gleese. I was going to say like Don Gleese, but I guess that's not how you say it. Uh, I think it's a really well done anime film, and I hope that more stuff like this gets released here. And I get to see more films like this. I wish we could get things here in the States, like an animated film that is more of a drama, like a lot of the stuff that's being released in Japan, kind of like this thing. Like, I just never get any things like that. It's either like some Disney 2, 3D thing or some Pixar thing or like a DreamWorks you know, 3D animated feature, but nothing that's more of a character-focused animated film, and that's kind of a disappointment. I want something, well, yeah, there's there's character-focused moments, but, you know, something like a coming-of-age drama done in animation, you're just not going to see that here, so I, I'm kind of hoping for something like that, at least one day, one day again, you know, here in the States, but I think Goodbye, Don Gleese is a, a pretty solid film, and I recommend it. So if you get the chance to check it out, if you have seen it, let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content. I think this will be in theaters for maybe like one more week and then it's kind of out of there. So if you get the chance to definitely go check this thing out. All right. Well, that's all I got to say. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I really appreciate it and uh, all the support in the channel and all that fun stuff. More stuff's on the way. Uh, I got some stuff next week and then some big stuff next month. So that should be all fun. All right. Well, that's all I have to say. As always, take care now. Bye-bye then. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.